It sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, doesn't it? Welcome back to our channel, and today we're taking you on an extraordinary journey to California, USA, where we'll unravel the mystery of the sudden resurgence of the Two Larry Lake. A lake that was once a vast expanse of water, reduced to an unproductive dry land, to then suddenly start filling up again. It's a sight that evokes a mix of awe, wonder, and a certain degree of apprehension. How did this happen? What caused the sudden resurgence of Tulare Lake? And more importantly, what does this mean for the environment and the people living in its area? In today's video, we'll delve deep into these questions, explore the history of Tulare Lake, and try to understand the factors contributing to its unexpected re-emergence. We'll talk about the lake's historical significance, the reasons behind its disappearance, and the potential environmental implications of its return. Introduction to Tulare Lake to Larry Lake, once a colossal body of water that held the title of being the largest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi River, was an epitome of nature's grandeur. It was an ecological marvel, a thriving ecosystem that was filled with a diverse array of flora and fauna. The Tulare Lake was located in the southern San Joaquin Valley, California, bordered by cities such as Alba, Corcoran, and Hanford. It could stretch over 690 square miles across the Central Valley, which is about 3.5 times the size of Lake Tahoe. This magnificent water body suffered from many problems. Extensive water diversion for agricultural purposes and long droughts chipped away at the lake's grandeur. The lake, that was once an expanse of sparkling water, started shrinking, eventually disappearing, leaving behind a barren, arid land that stood as a stark reminder of its past glory. The decline of Tulare Lake was marked by the arrival of European settlers in the mid-19th century. Driven by the thirst for agricultural expansion, these settlers began diverting water from the rivers that once nourished the lake, directing it towards their crops. The the lake was gradually drained, its waters replaced by fields of crops. By the early 20th century, Tulare Lake had virtually disappeared. What was once a vibrant water body had been reduced to a barren expanse of alkaline soil. The once thriving ecosystem that blossomed around the lake was severely disrupted. Many species, which had once thrived in the lake's waters and along its shores, now found themselves struggling to survive in the face of this drastic environmental change. However, in an unexpected expected turn of events in 2023, Tulare Lake, which had been dormant for over a century, began to stir. Its dry basin started to fill with water once again. This resurgence was not a slow, gradual process, but a swift and sudden one, refilling at a pace that left observers both baffled and concerned. The Causes of Tulare Lake's Revival The revival of Tulare Lake is a phenomenon that's captured the attention of scientists, environmentalists, and locals alike. The key factor in its unexpected resurgence has been the extraordinary weather conditions experienced in California recently. The state has been hit by a period of exceptionally heavy rainfall and unprecedented snow, recording a staggering 233% increase compared to a typical year. But while the heavy rainfall and snowfall have played a pivotal role, they don't entirely explain the rapid rate at which the lake has refilled. This has led experts to speculate about other potential contributing factors. One such factor being explored is the impact of climate change. Over the past few decades, climate change has led to more frequent and intense weather events, including periods of heavy rainfall. Furthermore, the condition of the lake bed could have also played a role. Although Tulare Lake has been dry for many years, the lake bed had remained largely intact. This means that when the heavy rains and snowfall came, the water had a natural basin to collect it, facilitating the lake's revival. The resurgence of Tulare Lake is a complex phenomenon, likely caused by a combination of these factors. It's a vivid example of how interconnected the elements of our environment are, and how changes in one area can and have far-reaching effects. California's economic influence and the role of water resources. The resurgence of Tulare Lake, after being dormant for over a century, marked a significant event in California's rich history. California, often hailed as the Golden State, is a powerhouse within the United States, boasting an economy that's not only massive, but also incredibly diverse. With a gross state product, GSP, of $3.6 trillion, it stands as the largest state economy in the US. To put this into perspective, 
perspective, if California were a country, it would rank as the fifth largest economy in the world, surpassing countries like the United Kingdom and India. This economic prominence stems from various sectors, but most importantly, their agricultural sector is one of the most productive in the world, with the state being the top US producer of crops like almonds, grapes, and strawberries. This agricultural abundance is largely due to California's favorable climate and fertile soils, but it also hinges critically on the availability of water. California's influence within the United States extends far beyond its substantial economic contributions. It's not just the powerhouse of the American economy, but also plays a significant role in the country's political landscape. As the most populous state in the nation, California commands a substantial number of seats in the U.S. House of Representatives and the Electoral College, making it a pivotal player in national elections. California has the financial resources to fund significant political campaigns and initiatives, both within the state and across the country. This economic power, combined with its substantial representation in the federal government, gives California a considerable say in shaping national policies and legislation. The impact of Tulare Lake's rising water expert, who began to delve into the situation, soon realized that this was not just a simple case of the lake refilling. The sheer scale and speed of the lake's resurgence, the unpredictability of its growth, and its potential impact on the surrounding communities made it clear that this was an event of significant concern. The resurgence of Tulare Lake is having a profound impact on the surrounding region, affecting not just the physical landscape, but also the lives of the people, the local economy, and the natural ecosystem. As the lake expands beyond its original boundaries, it's encroaching on farmlands. The San Joaquin Valley is one of the most productive agricultural regions in the world, contributing significantly to California's economy. The inundation of these farmlands could lead to substantial economic losses, affecting the livelihoods of farmers and other stakeholders in the agricultural sector. Furthermore, the rising lake could pose risks to water quality in the region. As the lake expands, it could potentially flood areas with industrial or agricultural pollutants, leading to contamination of the water with harmful substances. This could pose health risks for local communities and wildlife, and affect the overall quality of the water ecosystem. Managing Tulare Lake's future It's important to involve all stakeholders, including local communities, farmers, environmental groups, and government agencies. By working together, they can develop a balanced and sustainable approach that respects both human needs and environmental considerations. In conclusion, the revival of Tulare Lake is an extraordinary event that's brought both wonder and concern. It's a testament to nature's resilience and and unpredictability, but also a stark reminder of the profound impact that human activities and climate change can have on our environment. Tulare Lake's resurgence is not just an environmental phenomenon, but also a significant geopolitical event. Its management and the policies surrounding it could greatly influence the dynamics of water resource management within California and potentially across the United States. We hope that this phenomenon can spark a broader conversation about our role in shaping the environment and the importance of stewardship in the face of changing climate. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey. Please like and share our video and stay tuned by subscribing to our channel and turn on the notifications bell to never miss any of our upcoming videos.